Today I'm making lomo saltado. Lomo saltado is a Peruvian dish and I love it because of the way it captures one of the really cool things about Peruvian cooking, which is this mix of cultures that have happened in the country over the years. In the case of lomo saltado, it's coming from a tradition that's called chifa cooking, which is like the Chinese food of Peru. It's a stir-fried dish and there's soy sauce and ginger and things like that in it, which are also coming from the, from the Chinese side. But then you have tomatoes, potatoes in the form of french fries, chili peppers. All of those are indigenous ingredients from the Americas. And, because we're not done yet, rice. Because the meal is not complete without rice. It's starch on starch. What can I say? Uh, you gotta do it. It's just how you do it. There's one thing I wanna say up front before anyone starts sounding off in the comments. In the version of the Lomo Saltado that I make, I do not toss my french fries into the stir fry. You have very possibly, if you've seen this dish, seen it done where the french fries are tossed in. Go to Peru, check it out. You will see that people do it both ways. It's just a matter of preference. The key to doing a stir fry is A, to have everything prepped and meased in advance because once you get going, you really can't stop. The other key to doing a stir fry like this at home is to understand that the burners that we use at home do not have the same heat output that you really want when you're using a wok. So what we have to do is we have to stir fry in much smaller batches because if we dump all the ingredients in together at the same time, it's just gonna steam and kind of sweat and you're not gonna get any of that good flavor that you expect from a stir fry. So I already have everything meased out and ready to go for the stir fry, but before I do that, let me just walk you through how I prepped it all because it is important to the success of the final dish. This is a slightly too large onion, so I'm cut it in half. I really only need one half of this onion. Cutting our onion pole to pole at a half inch. Separate the pieces. And then two inch lengths for these scallions. It's about, yay. One aji amarillo. I usually forget the gloves and then I regret forgetting the gloves. Ow. They're this beautiful orange color. They have a really wonderful floral fruity flavor and they pack a good deal of heat. You can buy them in markets that have a good supply of Peruvian ingredients in the freezer section. Um, if you can't find them, you could sub a jalapeno or something like that instead, but it is really quite a different flavor. And we're just gonna clean out seeds and pith. What's next? Tomatoes? Cut these into three quarter inch thick wedges. You're gonna be kind of putting one bowl, next bowl, next bowl into the wok, emptying the wok, do the next thing. So everything in its own little dish. Garlic, a one inch piece of ginger, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, plus one teaspoon. Okay, so let's talk beef. This is lomo saltado, and the lomo means loin, and it's referring to the beef that's in the stir fry. There's the tenderloin, this is the filet mignon. This is the tenderest cut of beef. I also like to use a skirt steak, which is a little bit chewier, but has such great buttery, beefy flavor. You wanna cut the slices of beef across the grain so that you shorten the lengths of the muscle fibers. That's gonna help tenderize the meat even more. So if I take the filet here, this little filet I have, the muscle fibers run the length of the loin. What we wanna do is cross cut the muscle fibers so that we shorten them even more. One, two. Now you can cut this into strips for stir frying. About this way, this way. So what you'll notice with the skirt steak is the muscle fibers actually run the width of it. They don't run the length like they did on the tenderloin. So we obviously have to first cut this into more manageable size pieces. So here I am cutting with the grain, but it's just to divide this and I'll cut on that natural seam there. Now the fibers are running this way and I can cut my pieces for the stir fry. Meat, meat ready, cut. Moment of truth right here. I always get really anxious right before I stir fry because it's like it's got to all happen at once. A couple tablespoons of oil. Salt on the beef. Add half the beef to the wok. Spread it out. Each piece making contact. 
There's no way you're not gonna set off your smoke alarms right now. I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> I've created fire! That's real nice. Take that beef out. Get this really hot again. A little more oil. That fire is scary. I totally understand if you don't wanna do it at home. It happens when you toss near the flame with all that vaporized oil that's happening, but it does contribute a very good flavor to the stir fry, and the Chinese call it wok hei. I'm working under a commercial hood. I have a little more confidence that I can shoot flames up there and not burn my cabinets. If you don't wanna get the flame, don't toss, just stir. All right, here we go. Transfer this off to the side. Sizzly. Here goes about half the onion. Get a little bit of that, that bubbling brown char on it. Stir it. Still leaving a little texture. It's gonna go back in, so it's gonna see a little more heat. I don't want it to get limp. Scallions. Oh! Scallion, I lost the scallion. Scallion down. Come back, scallion, come back. Aji amarillo, the chili goes in. Toss it all together, toss it all together, toss it all together, and tomatoes. Just let them hang out there for a second. Garlic and ginger, in they go. Just long enough to release their flavor. 15 seconds, toss it all together. Beef goes back in with the onions and all the juices. Vinegar, soy sauce, hot. Kill the heat. Cilantro, whom. Maybe that was a lot of cilantro. Ah, 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 ah. Done. Hot fries. You can also do thick cut fries are really nice on this, like steak fries. French fries and rice. <laughs> it's awesome. Loma saltado. Just this delicious sear. It's got that smoky high heat wok cooking flavor. As I said, my French fries are on the side. You are free to toss them into the stir fry at the end. That is also a legit move. If you don't put your fries in the stir fry, you gotta dip your fries and get some of those juices all on them. Mmm. It's really something incredible. 